I'm Dan Helvig, originally from Martin County, Minnesota. I grew up in between Truman and Trimont on a uh, sixth generation family farm. Uh, just graduated from the University of Minnesota as an agricultural education alumni. I'm Liz Rabby. I'm a sophomore at the University of Minnesota studying agricultural education. Originally from the little town of Trimont, uh, where I grew up on a crop farm, both corn and soybeans, and my family's in the grain business. So I grew up on a sixth generation family farm, but I'm the first generation to go off to college. Uh, both my parents, uh, you know, graduated high school, were married by the time they were 19 years old and, and started their family at a young age. Uh, in this day of age, um, you know, things have changed a lot. Um, my parents told me right away, although I want to come back to the farm, I needed to go off and get an education. Uh, now that wasn't just a sheet of paper that I could come home and say that, you know, I got an education. It was things like studying abroad, um, being active in a different type of community, um, living in a different place, uh, surrounding myself with different types of people. Um, and, and I got that at the University of Minnesota. And so uh, I became a lot more diverse and I got to understand the, the world um, from a small community point of view, but on a large global, you know, national or even global scale. And so um, that's what really I liked about my education and, and what I like to bring back. Well, growing up, I've always known my little portion of where I live, of my community, of what I do. It's, it's really small when you look at the grand scheme of the world. And I think a big part of me wanting to go off and get an education at a higher institution like the University of Minnesota, it's one of those things that I never questioned I would do. I've always wanted to go to college because I'm one of those kids who just, I've always loved school. I know I'm kind of a rarity, but it's something that I really enjoy. And so coming here, it was, it was bigger than that. It was getting out of what I'm used to, out of my comfort zone a little bit, and learning from other people who might be a little different than me. 10 years from now, uh, I probably hope to be back in the family farm. Um, you know, I have a career as a territory sales manager selling seed for a company right now, but I really want to go back to the family farm and, and after learning some of life's lessons on somebody else's dollar, uh, it'd be nice to kind of you know, go back to have, having my own business um, and, and taking my own risks and, and having my own rewards because of it. Um, you know, I'll be, I'm sure I'll be back in, in my home community of, of Trimont, Minnesota. Um, hopefully involved in, in a variety of things, um, you know, whether it's, you know, local Lions Club or um, Trimont, you know, youth development uh, group or, or even if it's, it's somehow involved with the school, school board or, or some other type of, you know, leadership type roles. Um, simply because I, I, I want to entice people to come back and, and live in the safe, wonderful community that I grew up in. Um, I absolutely enjoyed the people that I grew up around. Um, you know, my, my parents were great parents, but uh, they weren't the people that were necessarily the only people that raised me. You know, we were, I was raised by the village and everyone, everyone knew who I was and, and uh, looked after me and, and was there to help me out. And so you don't necessarily get that in, in all the communities, um, but that's what I really like about it. And that's what I want, you know, 10 years from now, that's what I'm hoping my kids are experiencing too. 10 years from now, I'm going to be 29. <laughs> and that's a really weird, weird concept to me. Um, I guess 10 years from now, I'd like to be established in a community with some sort of career under my belt and have a family around, you know, something to come home to. But more than that, I want to be, when I say an established member of a community, I really want to have roots there. I want to be active in civic organizations. I want to have friends who live next door and also across town. I want to know the people that my kids go to school with, and I want to be confident in the fact that they're safe, happy, and healthy. Um, and I think that's a big part of why I can see my roots going back to rural Minnesota. Uh, being here at the Minnesota State Fair, uh, you see a lot of a you know, variety of people walking around. Well, you know, a lot of them are coming from you know the, the suburbs and, uh, and from the cities here. Uh, but we're here down by the barns, and, and I just like walking through the barns and seeing uh, a lot of my friends and, and other community members that I've that I've met along the way. It's a great thing about rural America and agriculture in general is is it's not only our community, but just we all kind of work together and, and are there for the the betterment of, of agriculture, for the betterment of, of rural Minnesota, and and uh, that kind of family atmosphere, that type of you know of wider community outside of our own communities is something special. And as a lot of these people walk around here at the Minnesota State Fair, they don't. I don't think a lot of them realize what it means to be in agriculture, what it means to be a farmer. They don't understand the work and the mentality that goes into things. Other su supporting uh, industries and businesses in the areas that, that are there helping, whether it's uh, 
you know, local feed mill or, or uh, ethanol plant or elevator that, that's you know, supporting the farmers. And so these, these 12 days are a great opportunity to, to educate them, to help them out. And you'll, if you, as you walk around, you'll see a lot of people working in booths or, or uh, you know, wearing volunteer shirts from greater Minnesota, you know, doing just that, educating people on, on what we do and why we do it. I don't know everything and I'm perfectly comfortable with that fact. Uh, when I go to the doctor's office, I trust that the person who is prescribing me medication and who is in charge of my well-being is really smart and knows what they're talking about and will take care of me competently. And there's trust in me that was instilled at a young age that if a doctor says so, you believe it and you do it and you, you take care of yourself like they tell you to. And I think something that we maybe miss in that gap between the city and rural America is um, if I trust a doctor to take care of my health and well-being, I trust a farmer to feed me in a safe, healthy way that it enhances my life. It's not like there's some big mystery about it. It's just, it's how we do things. It's how we've always done things. And it's the way we're going to do things to provide for you and your family because that's what the job of a farmer is to do. If a doctor's there to take care of your health, we're there to take care of your stomach. I mean, you got to eat and we want to feed you to the best of our ability.